right, here we go with the former world title challenger, Gilbert Durinho Burns. Perhaps a little bit undersized for welterweight, but he has resided within this top five since he moved up from 55. From the moment, John, you didn't know what to expect from Gilbert Burns at 170, but he has shown that he has the ability to compete with the best, and if you aren't the best, he buzzes right through you. I was very impressed by the way he handled the Neil Magny challenge, and he looks to prove again why he is the elite of the elite in the welterweight division. And he's also a promoter's dream. A lot of people feel like eventually Gilbert Burns is going to work himself back into a championship setting. But, of course, the big fights at 170 pounds continue for one of the best from Brazil, Gilbert Burns. Gilbert to Grace the Octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. All right, folks, here we go. All eyes are on the undisputed UFC welterweight champion, Future might be in the UFC Hall of Fame, but he certainly didn't want to hear that noise in the fighter meeting. He is focused on the present, and that is this significant challenge against the number one contender tonight. Yeah, he's not looking down the line. This is the guy that lives in the here and now. He told us the other day, John, that he has so many more defenses to put himself alongside the great welterweight champions, Kamaru Usman and George St. Pierre. He has got a real idea of where he wants to go, and he feels like tonight is just another step in the road to great. And he's been inspired by all of those great welterweights that preceded him, Leon Edwards among them. Now it's his turn to shine on a big stage here again. All right, with that, the wait for live action ends here. Both fighters have raced the octagon, and we are ready and raring to go. United Center in Chicago. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Gilbert Durinho Burns. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Joaquin Numeza All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, well, if you follow Gilbert Burns' career, you know this man actually prefers to strike over grappling at this point of his career. He has gone to great lengths to round out that side of his game under the guidance of Henry Hooft. Every round begins on the feet. Gilbert Burns wants to throw hands tonight. We'll see how it goes early in this round. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily... Oh, on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh. That's a big hook. Nice left change. Burns is in half goal. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Side control now. Good, solid strike on the ground. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. 
right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Good work from the top here by Burns. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Oh, my goodness, he got out again. Wow, that is fantastic submission defense. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle the crowd and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts and that's exactly what you just got. Oh, oh big round strikes continue to land. Takedown defense is there. And now some separation. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, moments oh. on both sides in round one. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, Got, it got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stool. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, round two. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs. Oh, two strike hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be of those types of strikes. Wow, what a head kick! I decided to find a chance. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if we can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to. Oh, and huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. This is a terrible position. Oh, nice elbow. Beautiful ground and pound. And it looks like he has a cut now. So an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Just the nasty leg kick that would hurt. That's hard to watch. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. 
You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because they're fighting for the best pick of fighters in the UFC. Oh, hammer fist here by Burns. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response. Oh, now he's attacking arm triangle. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. So the round is but, over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. It's fine. Right? Don't worry about it. But you got to protect it. Stay on the outside. All right, well, one minute of Enswell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does... He can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice job defensively. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Try to establish that jab. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Straight right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you get the night, that one landed right on the spot. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, well, he rocked him pretty hard. Oh, he's hurt bad. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? And now Leather being thrown on both sides. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. This is such a crazy fight. Straight right. Oh, 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 I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. With that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 12 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Joaquin Nunez. All right, so there he is. He came in the hunted. He remains as such. Congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion. And you